to another Yoga MoFlo workout. I'm Heather, the creator of Yoga MoFlo, which is an integration of yoga and mobility work. Um, today, I'm really excited about our practice. I think it's gonna be really fun. It was fun for me to create. There's a lot of little interesting transitions and some challenges in here. So even if this, if you find this workout hard or challenging, um, this is something that you can build up to over time and just keep getting better and better at it. So it's about a 40 minute practice today and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please leave me comments in the comment section below. We're gonna just start in our cross-legged seat here and we're gonna start with a neck warm up. So let's just go ahead and turn our head to the left and turn it to the right. I think you're gonna like today's workout too. I found it hard, but also like super fun. So I hope you find it fun too. Let's do one more. And then let's do look up and down. So just stretching out the neck. One more. From here, let's just go ahead and roll. Do these bottom neck rolls to the left and to the right. Just stretching out, it should feel good. If it's okay on your neck, see if you can do a full roll. One direction, a full roll. The other direction, and then come back to center. From here, let's go ahead and drop our right ear to our right shoulder, taking the left arm out, and then just gently putting a little bit of weight on the head. We're not pulling it down, it's just a slight bit of weight, just to get a little bit deeper stretch and release. Let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So left ear to left shoulder, putting a little bit of weight there and stretching the right arm out. Very nice. From here, we're gonna stay in this seat and we're gonna do some cat-cows from this position. So grab onto your knees and pull your chest through, look up. And then round the back and put your chin to your chest as you exhale. Let's do a few more. So inhale and exhale. Twice more. And go ahead and come back to center. Let's switch the crossing of our feet. So now my right leg is in front and we're gonna wind up, warm up the spine a little bit more. And so from here, I call these Kundalini rolls. We're just gonna move the chest to the right, come out to the front and to the back, moving to the right. This should feel really good on your spine. Our spines are meant to move in all directions. So we really try to do that. It's great for mobility and spinal health, prevents back pain. I created, let's go the other way. I created these Yoga MoFlo workouts because even though I'm a certified yoga teacher, I just wasn't getting everything I wanted out of my yoga practice. And so I also included days where I did mobility training and I thought, you know, what if I combine the two together into one perfect workout? So that's what I did in creating these Yoga MoFlo workouts. It's my two favorites, yoga and mobility work. Um, and you get the benefit of that. From here, let's come into a tabletop position. And we're gonna do something a little bit different, not your typical cat-cow. These are our uh, like cat-cow rolls. And so what I'm gonna do is kind of building on what we just did with those kundalini rolls, I'm gonna kind of move to the right and round my back as I come up front and then drop my belly when I go back. So it's kind of like a cat-cow kundalini tabletop combo. 
but I made yoga mo flow because as I get older, I want to be sure that I can do all the things I want to do. And for me, fun kind of equals outdoor activities. I like to swim at the beach. I like to body surf. I like to scuba dive. I also like to go hiking and just trying other things. Let's go ahead and go the other direction. And, you know, I want to be able to do all that super fun stuff as I get older. And so I find that the combination of yoga and mobility drills really allows me to do that. I'm actually in better shape now at 45 than I was at 25. And I'm actually in better shape than when I used to run marathons in my 30s, believe it or not. So I really think that these workouts are fantastic and they really, really help. Okay, from here, um, let's tuck our toes under. We're gonna lift our knees and just do a little bit of a hover. So here we're warming up our core. We're just gonna hang out here for a few minutes. Few minutes, few seconds rather. Ha ha, minutes, that would be tough. Um, and let's do some kick through. So just coming through, touching our right foot and then our left. We're only doing a few of these. We're just warming up our core. Let's do five, four, three, last two, one, and lift back into your down dog. It's our first down dog, so let's get our chest towards our thighs, even uh, weight in our hands, and then let's go ahead and start uh, pedaling out our feet. So getting a stretch to the back of the legs. Today does seem to be a little bit leg heavy. So even though it's yoga moflo, which is total body, uh, we are gonna be getting some nice leg work in and some pretty cool little leg challenges. All right, from here, let's go ahead and walk up to the top of the mat. You can bend your knees if you need to. From here, Let's go ahead and take our right hand in between our feet, bending the right knee, straightening the left leg, and rotating, twisting, looking up to the sky. Just another little spinal stretch, waking up the back of our legs. Let's go the other way. So replace the right hand with the left, straightening the right knee, bending the left, looking up to the sky. Then go ahead and bring your hands down. Let's do halfway lift and forward fold. Let's sweep our arms out to the side. Palms kiss to touch at the top. And let's bring our hands to our heart. Adjust clothing here, whatever you need to. Pause for just a second. And we're going to get right into some leg work. So let's just take a Big giant step back into a crescent lunge. Make sure you can see your big toe at least over your knee just to keep that knee joint safe. And then we're going to lift and lower eight times. So here we go down and then straighten that front, um, front knee. So that's two, three, really feeling a nice stretch through the right quad. Here's four, five, Six, seven, eight. Very good. Let's go ahead and bring our hands down into our runner's lunge, framing that left foot. Rock it out for just a second. From here, let's take our left hand on the inside of our left foot and walk the left toes out a little bit. And from here, we're going to do some modified pyramids. So I'm going to straighten the left leg and you might just want to stay here. I like to flex my left foot just as an added stretch and we're going to go down and up eight times. So here we go. Here's two, three, four, five, six, last two, seven, 
Eight, well done. Drop the back knee. Go ahead and lift up the right foot, reaching around with the left hand, grabbing the foot and stretching out that right quad, bringing it to your rear end there and looking up. So here you're getting a nice chest stretch. It should feel good. This is a little break right in the middle and catch your breath. You notice too in Yoga Moflo, we get our heart rate up. So you're getting some cardiovascular work in there as well. You're getting it all and you're doing a great job. Go ahead and release and go ahead and lift the right knee off the ground, bringing it back to a plank. From here, we're gonna do our vinyasa. You can put your knees down to cobra. I'm gonna do chaturanga to up dog. Ah, oh, shifting up the belly. And we all meet back in down dog. Take a breath. Then go ahead and bend your knees. See if you can hop to the top of your mat this time in your forward fold. And go ahead and lengthen the back. Forward fold and sweep our arms up to the sky, releasing into prayer. From here, we're gonna do a little Qigong work, a little Qigong swing. So go ahead and walk your feet out as wide as your yoga mat and start swinging your arms around the body. This should feel good. Get another little oasis or a break. Go ahead and make fists with your palms and hit your lower back and your belly, right around your belly button. Qigong is an ancient practice that involves movement to move energy and breath throughout the body called qi. From here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on our shoulder when we come up. That's the lung point. So we're waking up our lungs, opening up the lower dong tian on our back. And swing. I love doing this exercise. I think it feels really good. Then go ahead and release the fist and just do that back and forth swing. And release. Come back to your mountain pose, so our feet under our hips, hands to our hearts in prayer. And then let's go ahead and take a giant step back with the left foot back to those crescent lunges. So here we go, down and up, eight times. Two, three, four, five, here's six. That was the last one. Let's come down to our runner's lunge and rock it out here. Rocking back on the toe, waking up the foot. And go ahead and bring that right hand inside the right foot, walking the um, right foot out to the side. And we're gonna do that modified pyramid up and down. So eight times, coming up and back down. That was one, here's two. A nice stretch in that hamstring. Here's seven. Eight, very good. Go ahead and drop that back left knee down, pulling it in, reaching behind you with the right hand, opening the chest, looking up, <sighs> taking a deep breath. And release. From here, coming back to our plank and go ahead and go through your vinyasa. Take your modification, and we all meet in down dog. One breath here. Look to the top of your mat, bend your knees, and either step or hop to the top. Flat back lengthen, forward fold. Let's reach our arms around to the sky, palms to heart. Very good, from here, we get another little qigong break. I'm going to face you so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna do some tapping. 
So take some breaths through your nose. We're gonna tap our heart space right here, up and down. From here, we're gonna wake up our internal organs, give them some taps, and pay attention if it feels sore. That might just tell you that that organ needs a little extra attention. So we're gonna knock the right side of our body, of our torso, this is our liver. You can smile, send your liver good energy. Say hello, liver. Your liver does so much for you. And then let's take it over to the left. Here's your spleen. Give your spleen some love. You can smile at your spleen. And then from here, we're gonna do our belly. So we're going in the direction of our large intestine. So going in a clockwise motion and we're knocking around. This is so great for digestion, elimination. Your intestines do a lot for you. So let's give them some love with our taps here. Let's do one more. Well done, we showed our organs some love. Let's come back to the top of our mat. From here, we're gonna go into our tree pose. We're gonna stand on our left leg. Um, so I'm gonna bring my right foot up to my thigh. You can bring it to your um, calf if that's better. Just making sure not to put it on your actual knee joint. You don't wanna give any undue pressure on the knee. Pausing here, this is just a nice little balance move, a balance challenge. If you wanna challenge your balance even more, you can always shut your eyes. That's really hard or look up. It's up to you, but sometimes it's kind of fun to challenge ourselves. From here, we're gonna do another little balance challenge. Um, most of the time, people wrap their two toes around their big, or their two fingers around their big toe. I hate the way that feels inside my toes. I don't like anything wrapped around my toes. So I actually just grab the bottom of my foot. From here, we're gonna extend our leg out. Now you may be right here and that's perfectly fine. If you can, see if you can straighten that leg and pause. This is a great little challenge. It's also a wonderful hamstring stretch. And then release the hand. See if you can keep the leg up. That's really gonna strengthen your quad. From here, we're gonna take the leg Back around us, passing through warrior three, coming down behind us and into a curtsy lunge. We are gonna do that three more times, passing back through warrior three and kicking that leg back out front. Do it three more times at your own pace. And I will tell you that the slower you go, the harder it is. So that was two. This is one of those little challenges that I built into the workout today. That was the last one. Here's another little challenge. See if you can keep your leg out and kind of lower into a half pistol down to a seat. I'm gonna move little Henny Ruru's pillow out of the way. He doesn't seem to be hanging out with us today. Um, and from here, we're gonna have our hands facing our bottoms and lift up your bottom. And from here, we're gonna do some tricep dips, um, kind of in this crab shape. So we're gonna do 10 of these. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now from here, we're gonna do a crab walk. So we're gonna go forward and back. So from here, we're gonna do a crab walk and we're gonna just walk ourselves forward and back. This is kind of fun. You may remember doing this as a kid. 
I remember when I was in elementary school and in PE, we used to do crab walk soccer, where you had to be in this kind of position, kicking the ball and playing soccer in the gym, as opposed to standing up and running, and I always thought that was super fun. And this is just a wonderful way to be able to lift your body off the ground. You should be able to. We all should be able to lift our bodies off the ground. It's a really wonderful thing to be able to do. Well done. Okay, from here, I built in another little challenge. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to roll ourselves up without our hands, putting them down at the last minute, jumping back into a chaturanga. So if you wanna give it a shot, I encourage you to. If not, you can just get yourself up. We're gonna meet in down dog. Okay, so let's see if we can do it. That was a close one. Back to up dog and back to our downward dog. If you were able to accomplish that, well done. Go ahead and bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat, flat back, forward fold, arms to the sky, palms kiss together at the front of the heart. We're going to do all of that on the other side. So let's start back in that tree pose. So bringing the left foot to the right thigh. From here, you can really try to open up the left knee, pushing the right hip forward as a little bit of a hip stretch. We're only here for a few seconds. Then let's try that standing staff pose again on this side. This side is my weaker balance side. We all have one. So if you see me struggling, that's why we're asymmetrical and that just means we have to work our other side more. Let's see if we can hold that leg out and then do those curtsy lunge warrior three moves. So coming back around into our curtsy and down. So we're going to do three more of these at our own pace. I think this is a pretty fun little challenge. Let me know what you think in the comments if you think these challenges are fun too. I like to kind of play with my body. I know that sounds a little weird, but I like to just see what it can do, see what it's capable of. I like to kind of push my limits a little bit. Not too much because I don't really want to get injured, but I do want to see what I can do. Let's go ahead and drop ourselves down into that pistol seat and back to our crab. So here we're coming back up. We're going to do 10 more of those triceps or crab dips. Oh, crab dip. <laughs> that actually sounds kind of good. <sighs> Here's four, five, six, seven, toning the arms, nine, ten. Now you get to try those crab walks again. So we're going to go forward and back. Just walking the length of our mat. Let's do one more all the way back. Back to the center of our mat. From here, drop your bottom down. And I just have another little challenge built in here. Um, we're gonna have our hands next to our sides and we're gonna see if we can lift ourselves up, crisscrossing our legs in front. If you have blocks at home or books to get a little bit extra height, makes it a little bit easier, you could try that as a challenge. But this is a really good core exercise. So we'll see if we can lift ourselves up and cross our feet and set yourself back down. You can feel that, that's pretty hard. Okay, from here we're gonna do that little chaturanga, no hand jump again. If you didn't try it last time, Maybe you want to try it this time. So, here we go. Lifting ourselves up. Jumping back to chaturanga. Up dog. Back to down dog. 
Let's take a few breaths here. Let's just do a little pause. You'll notice your heart rate is up. We've got one more sequence to get through before we start to cool it down. So go ahead and bend your knees, look to the top of your mat, and hop to the front of your mat. From here, let's do a halfway lift, forward fold, arms rise up, palms kiss, hands to heart. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go into dancer pose. So we're gonna stand on the left leg, take our right hand out to the side, kick the right foot up, grab the inside of the right foot, reaching our left hand to the sky, and start to kick it forward. So reaching the left arm forward, the right foot up, pausing here in our beautiful, hopefully graceful, dancer pose. Go ahead and release. Try not to put the right foot down. Crossing the right foot over the left knee, keeping the foot flexed and bright into our standing pigeon pose. You should feel this in your glutes. This is a balance challenge. Then go ahead and slide the right foot down in front of the left and forward fold. Let's stretch out that IT band. Go ahead and walk your hands over to the right, bump your hips to your left. Back through the center, hands to the left, hips to the right. Back to center. From here, go ahead and scoot yourself back to the center of your mat. And we're gonna lift that right, or I'm sorry, the left foot behind us. Um, so here you're in your standing split, or it may look like mine, which is a little bit more warrior three prep. But from here, we're gonna have a little play time. We're gonna do some handstand practice. So this is kind of fun. You don't have to do it, but if you want to, you can. I'm gonna do about four, see if I can catch a little air. It is something I am practicing on or with. You may not get very high. I know I'm not. That was four, but it's still fun. Go ahead and walk your hands back into that standing split and then cross the left knee behind the right foot and take a seat. We're coming into a seated twist. So go ahead and reach that right hand behind you, left hand to the sky and cross it around your, your left elbow, snuggled into your right knee and then just go ahead and look over the right shoulder. When you inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, see if you can get a little bit deeper twist. Please let me know in the comments if you like these little additional challenges added into the workouts. I think they're pretty fun. Just give you something to work towards and myself too. From here, we're gonna see if we can stand up without using our hands, ending up in a warrior three and then to a forward fold. So, coming up, look mom, no hands, into our warrior three, and then go ahead and step the left foot. You might need to walk to the top of your mat like I did, and then in our forward fold. So this is just a little ragdoll fold. So grab opposite elbows, and sway side to side. We still have to do all of that on the other side. And release. Go ahead and come back to center. You might need to walk your feet back under your hips. Let's go ahead and reach our arms wide, kissing at the top, hands to heart. Adjust your clothing hair as needed. We're gonna do the dancer on the opposite side. So let's hold out our left hand, kicking up our left foot, reaching our right arm to the sky, and start to kick it back. 
in our very beautiful, hopefully graceful dancer pose. Slowly release with control. Try not to put that foot down. Crossing the left foot over the right knee into our standing pigeon. Holding here. Being thankful for balance. I'm thankful my balance on my quote unquote bad leg is working out for me today. Go ahead and slide that left foot in front of the right and forward fold. Let's stretch out that IT band, walk our hands over to the left, and then over to the right. Coming back to center, scoot to the middle of your mat if you need to. Let's go ahead and lift the right leg behind us into our um, standing splits or our warrior three prep. And if you did it last time and you want to try it again, go ahead and work on some of those handstand hops. So you can bend your bottom leg and start pushing off. Maybe you catch some air. Maybe not, that's okay. Go ahead and walk your hands back into your standing split. And then take that right knee behind your left foot and have a seat. Here we're going to do our twist. So go ahead and take that left hand behind you, reaching the right arm to the sky, snuggling that right elbow outside your left knee and turning to look over your left shoulder. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, see if you can just twist a wee bit deeper. Go ahead and release. From here, let's see if we can get back into our warrior three with no hands. So go ahead and roll forward and lift the leg behind you and release. I need to walk to the top of my mat, having my feet as wide as my mat and coming back into that ragdoll fold. So you can sway side to side, grab opposite elbows. That should feel good. From here, let's place our palms on our mats and go ahead and walk back to a plank pose and lower our forearms into a forearm plank. We're going to hold here for just a second. Some last little core strengthening. We're not going to be here forever. Let's go ahead and turn our right forearm in at a 45 degree angle. Roll to the outside of our right foot and do a side right plank on our forearm and just hold. Just another little challenge. And then let's come through center, go to the opposite side. So left forearm down at a 45 degree angle. Our right arm to the sky. We're just going to hold here. Back to our forearm plank. Pausing here for just a little bit longer. Let's do some hip dips. We're only going to do them for 10, but we're just kind of going to drop our hips down and lift back up. There's two, three, four, there's five, seven, eight, nine, last one, and drop our bellies all the way to our mat. Let's find our Sphinx pose. So we're having our elbows under our shoulders, looking forward. Stretching out our abdominals. If you like, you can come into steel. That actually feels pretty good for me today. 
this works for your low back. You get a little bit more of a deeper stretch into your abdominals. Or you can just hang here in your sphinx. That's just as good. Let's go ahead and push our songs back to a child's pose, but this time keeping our knees close together. Come back into your child's pose, wrapping your hands around you, forehead to the ground, kind of your classic child's pose. And just rest here. This should feel really good on your low back. A nice little release. We're actually gonna go ahead and release our lower back even more by coming into rabbit's pose. For rabbit, go ahead and grab your feet and then roll up onto the crown of your head. This is a really nice stretch through your lower back and your shoulders. And maybe I look like a little bunny rabbit. Then come back down and release. Go ahead and sit yourself up into your hero's pose. From here, I'm just gonna slide to my right hip, bring my legs out around, and I'm gonna find my cobbler's pose. So I'm gonna bring my feet together to touch um, and my knees out as wide as they can go. For some of you, you may be up here and that's okay. We're just going to where we feel sensation. It's all the same because we're all feeling the same thing. Doesn't matter how deep you go, as long as you get that same feeling, that's what we're after. And let's go ahead and lower ourselves down. You can keep a flat back here if you like, or if you really want to relax more, you can drop your head, kind of put your forearms down. It's up to you. You can even sway a little bit side to side. Sometimes that feels good. And just relax. All the hard stuff is done. Now we're just cooling down, stretching it out. It should feel nice. I'm really glad you guys stuck with me the whole class and that you're still here. I hope you enjoy it. Go ahead and walk yourself back up. From here, let's go ahead and take our right leg out long, bringing our left foot into our right thigh, kind of like a tree-like design. Let's lift our arms to the sky and forward fold over that right leg. It doesn't matter how far down you get, you may be up here, and that's okay. If you can grab your foot, that's good too. And just relax. Just stretching out the right side of the back and your right hamstring. Then go ahead and reach the left arm behind you. Lift the hips, coming into a baby wild thing, just a counter stretch. Stretching wide and release. Let's just straight away go into the other side. So let's extend the left leg long, bringing the right foot in. Arms to the sky and forward fold over the left leg, stretching it all out. Then go ahead and take the right hand behind you, lifting the hips, counter stretch, little baby wild thing. And release. Take any other stretch your body might feel like it needs right now. I'm just going straight into our Shavasana, so I'm gonna have my legs out wide, lower myself onto my back, letting my feet flop open. Palms facing up, away from the body, and letting my breath return to normal. We're only here for a minute or two. I encourage you not to skip it. This is when we absorb all the good work we've done, all that excellent movement into our body. 
and relax, feeling the earth supporting you and shutting down the eyes. Little mini meditation. I'll be quiet now. Go ahead and start waking the body up. Maybe wiggle your fingers and toes, rolling the head from side to side. Go ahead and bend the knees, rolling to one side, pausing for just a second, and then using the strength of your arms to push you up and finding a seat. Close the eyes for just one more minute. I just want you to sit here and feel your body. Notice if you feel any different from when we started our practice. I know I feel just a little bit more relaxed than I did when we started. Thinking your body, sending it love. It worked hard for you today. Bringing our palms to our heart, bowing our heads. Namaste. Oh my gosh, I thought that was such a fun class. I really had a good time putting that one together and having you join me for it. Let me know what you thought in the link below or in the comments below rather. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't ever miss a Yoga Mo Flow workout. And I'll see you next time.